So, yet again, this is my Raspberry Pi. Um, not much has changed with it, apart from smaller audio cable, Wi-Pi, Wi-Fi dongle, which is flashing away blue. Pretty nice. And a Harmony ZB PLM uh, gateway plug, which allows me to interface with X10, Insteon and Zigbee devices. So that's just plugged in now at the bottom of the USB. So two USBs, the audio cable, which goes into the surround sound, and yeah, that's that. What has changed is the interface for the audio, for a start. I have, let me just try and get focus, so I don't have a repeat of my very first prototype video. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we now have a bigger app taking like um, using the, the estate a lot better. Uh, if we do a search, let's do Paradise Circus. Um, similar to before, two columns on the tab, uh, computer or laptop, sorry. And you hit play, blah blah blah, and you have that playing. Okay, and um, over here we now have the Spotify playlists that are stored. Uh, this is okay in a fluid layout, so it should fit on any screen and in reshape. Now I've got the seek bar at the bottom, the volume slider, a shuffle button, uh, pause and play and everything down the bottom as well. Um, you can click current playlist and it shows you what the current playlist is. So you can now switch between the search and your playlist a lot easier. Um, and everything's pretty much on display. Uh, so that's that. What we have up here as well, which is known as the home audio, which you're looking at. We also have the home control, which I'll get to in a second, and we have Pi settings. So if I just click the Pi settings, yeah, so it just tells you some basic information 54 degrees, 23% of the CPU you're getting used, blah blah blah. Um, and I'll just quickly show you this on uh, a mobile phone as well. Um, let's go to the Beat Pi app. That's going to quite wait. Oh, I'm going to try not to drop my phone. Okay, so let me try and just focus again. Okay, so the first one's the whole module. So I'll just press that. Uh, so yeah, this is all fluid as well. Um, so it detects that it's not on a PC. Um, it kind of uh, condenses things. So to get the most out of your screen size, if you press playlist there, it's really hard to see the text on these. But there you go. Yeah. So yeah, you can switch between seeing your playlists just by pressing that button, or you can do a search. Um, so we'll stick it in. Kings of Leon. Uh, hit search. Yeah. Uh, and then just play. No idea what I just pressed there because I'm not actually looking at the right phone. Here's somebody. Great song. Okay. So, yeah. All pretty easy to do. Um, if you queue another couple of songs, you've seen all this. Uh, okay. And then go to playlist, uh, current playlist, and if we shuffle, then it reloads with the shuffle playlist in view. So that all works. Um, somebody asked me a question of how long. Let me just pause that. Somebody asked me a question of how long does it take to load a playlist? Um, if we load quick, which has about 10 songs in it, uh, more than 10, say 21, uh, then a couple, about a second, um, Bop 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 has about 250 songs, um, that will take about 4 seconds I believe, um, any second now, yeah, and that's 250 songs, so that's quite a large playlist, um, but yeah. So that's that, uh, and you saw the Pi settings, uh, which should reflect what's on both screens, even when it's doing the live updating, blah blah blah. Uh, 
and the main start of the show just now is the new home control. It takes a wee while to uh, load up this stuff. I mean, well, when I say a wee while, it's probably about three seconds. Uh, but let me just go turn off this light here, just so you can see this. Uh, so there's a lamp, and you have television lamp, so we can switch that off. And switch it on. And just now I need to like incorporate some sort of bar to do this instead because it's not the easiest thing to just like constantly hit the dim button. But yeah, we have on off dim brighten and on. Yes, yeah, so if we have on we'll take it back to full brightness. Or maybe not. Okay. Doesn't take it back to full brightness. If you switch it off, it'll switch it off. That's for sure. Um, yeah, so just now I've got the dimmers working and I have on and off plugs working. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Um, so, yeah, the inf interface with the audio player got a full overhaul. Um, the next thing to do will be the. Uh, interface for the. Um, RF stuff uh, and again all this is still open source and constantly updating it just now um, but it's available on github at uh, Uh so if you ever want to contribute or if you've got any ideas I'd love to hear them um, it'd be great fun to work with somebody on this obviously uh, many thanks for watching and if you have any questions or want to know anything that I used or have any queries about the codes or anything just drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks very much